when Charlie Hustle rounded third looking to score on a Jim Hickman single. And suddenly, Ray Fossey was all that stood between Rose and a National League win. With the Cubs outfield, Jimmy Hickman had a great, great year. How do you account for that fine finish he had in 69? Well, Jimmy, uh, if it hadn't been for Hickman last year, I think we would wind up for, uh, in fourth place because Jimmy, he did a tremendous job for us and I think uh, all the ball players on our ball club uh, take their hats off of Jim Hickman. Back to right field, Panetti going way back to this, back, back. Can't handle it, it's off the line. Jimmy Hickman is going to take the turn. He's challenging the arm of Panetti. He's going to go to third. He is saved. I run just as hard as anybody else. Maybe I don't get there quite as fast, <laughs> but uh, I do uh, have that stride, and, and I guess that will be with me the rest of my career. I imagine it means a lot, too, to an outfielder to know he's got Kessinger and Beckert guarding short and second. That's right, Jack. With a couple of guys like that, you know, not too many balls are going to get through the infield. And, uh, of course, your outfielders have to back up no matter whether they catch the ball or not. But it, it's a little extra, you know. You know these guys are there and they're going to get to that ball. Well, I was born in a small town And I lived in a small town They're going to win the playoffs and the series for Chicago. They're going to go all the way with the World Series. I'm sure of that. Well, I think the Cubs will go all the way. That's it. Here she goes. Back, back, back. Hey, hey. Hickman did it again. Woo! Oh, brother. Same small town.